Things will look and taste a little different for race fans at the Coos Bay Speedway. The Oregon Liquor Control Commission took their liquor license because they say they violated the governor's orders. KZI 9 News reporter Avita Garza shows us why the Speedway was punished in the first place. At the Coos Bay Speedway, drawing hundreds of people to the venue for car races is typical for a summer weekend. But things may look a little different moving forward now that they've been stripped of their liquor license. We've got to act. Got to try to keep the industry open. Under phase two guidelines, an outdoor event must be limited to 250 people to allow for social distancing. OLCC spokesman Bryant Haley says some events can have more than 250 as long as they have separate bathrooms and serving areas. But he says an inspector went to one of their recent events and found that nobody was listening to their guidance, even though the owners told them they were ready to comply. Our inspectors are out there, and again, the inspectors aren't out there, you know, in a, in a trench coat being evil. They're trying to be out there and saying, fix this, fix that. According to their Facebook page, the Speedway has events planned out until October, and they said it will be business as usual until then, even though they can't sell alcohol. Even though the Speedway allegedly violated the governor's orders, Coos County Public Health officials say they won't have to close down for now. They say it's OSHA's responsibility to decide, and they only have the power to educate. We try to give guidance and consultation. We do not fulfill an enforcement. Right now, the liquor license is suspended permanently. We did try speaking to the owners of the racetrack, but they declined. In Coos Bay, Avita Garza, KEZI 9 News. And be sure.